Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini June 13, 2022. Cooperation comes more easily today, and it works in your favor. While you're giving a lot of thought to your career and the path it's taking, today is about examining and analyzing, but not to the point of stressing yourself out. Focusing on the positive side of your goals as inspiration can be helpful now. A Mercury-Venus parallel keeps things pleasant, open, and friendly, making it a good time for both work and play. A Sun-Uranus aspect also influencing today puts you in fine form for hopes and dreams. New ideas and potential ventures inspire you. You might break through a barrier or problem, which comes as a pleasant relief. You're in excellent shape for coming up with creative and exciting ideas for future projects. You'll be breaking ground, but since we're just a day behind the new moon, putting plans into motion should wait for later. You feel less inhibited, and you can experience more emotional clarity after or through sharing your thoughts or feelings with a friend. Is it strictly business or are you crushing? The sun continues to energize your 11th house of associations, community, and sense of belonging in the world, bringing greater emphasis to themes surrounding your social networks and desire for individual freedom. With the sun approaching a sweet sextile to Uranus in your sign exact tomorrow it's no wonder your desire to explore other horizons is so magnified at this time. And with both Mars and your planetary ruler, Venus, roaming through your exotic ninth house of adventure, one thing's for sure, you're willing to do whatever it takes to succeed, even if that means venturing out of your comfort zone. Does it feel like all eyes are on you? With the moon now in fixed Scorpio, you could feel like you are in the spotlight regarding your work. Luna could imply that you are being recognized for a feat, perhaps something that has to do with technology or even your online platforms. Recognition will come from your greater professional community and network, so you may receive words of praise from unlikely but welcome colleagues. But since you are in the public eye, be mindful of how you position yourself on and offline so that any recognition is solely positive. Just four days before Venus, the planet of money is not only due to return to your career sector but bring Mars with her, the moon wraps up its monthly visit. As well as leaving you with your professional instincts and imagination fueled, a friendly aspect to series in your income sector has left you with a better sense of your income needs and priorities. This comes just days before Venus will start steering this professional year in a lucrative direction. You're feeling feisty, but don't jump all up in people's grills. Most of what they say will be pretty low-key, but if you misinterpret their words, you might be asking for trouble. Instead of fighting back, just keep moving along. It's better that way. With today's astral energy at play, you might feel driven by a cause. Just don't let it drive you crazy. The urge to fix things, and even people, can lead you down a path of frustration. Take the time and do some kind of exercise that creates a meditative state. Repetitive exercise such as yoga or a series of laps on a track can give you the distance that you need. You will feel more at peace with yourself, too. Independence is definitely something the essence of this day can encourage for you. You probably prefer to work within the comfort of a partnership, however developing your own individual abilities is essential. Going off on your own to enrich your talents and to gain more skills will allow for the personal development that brings so much to every partnership you're involved in. Take the time to let the essence of this day work through you toward gaining greater self-reliance and independence. Sometimes a challenge can be an opportunity in disguise and that is the case today. The moon is not only in your career sector but has come full circle from last month's eclipsing full moon to energize things across the income, work and career fronts again. However, a clash with Venus, who along with Mercury is putting the focus on things close to home, could put your work-life balance to the test. However, this is something that the sun, in his last weekend on his own in a playful part of your chart is right behind. With Mercury just two days away from returning to your romantic sector for the second time this year, today's clash between the Moon and Venus is bringing the right work-life balance reminders at the right time. Even Mercury, 
who will return to put heart and mind on the same page and to bring a chance for a do-over, is engaged in making work, life balance a priority today. Our eyes in the sky. During this time, psychic perceptions, emotional sensitivities, and dreams could be more vivid. We might question our intuition and second-guess our hunches. Be prepared to swim in the deep end of the ocean for the next few months. Let your heart navigate through the murky waters ahead. Our intuition has been strong, but now we're starting to question ourselves, which will be the ongoing vibe until December. Stay true to your inner feelings and don't veer from your instincts. Even though it might be challenging, follow your heart. Only it can lead you toward the truth. Relationships could prove to be more confusing than ever because you may not feel supported by your peers. Don't shy away from confrontation. Speak up and let your feelings be heard rather than hold in your emotions. Your career direction could be cloudier than ever if you're unsure what next steps are needed to increase your bank account and reach your professional goals. You could try creating a vision board and listing your plans for the future only to get lost in a Neptunian daydream but it can still give you some direction for creating the future and life that you truly want for yourself. In the early morning, the moon squares off with Chiron in Aries and sees us chastising ourselves for past failures. The Scorpio moon can be punishing, defining success in terms of influence. And during its square to Chiron, we might struggle with self-esteem. In our youth, a parent or person of authority may have chided our passions, suggesting that we didn't have what it takes to make it an impact, and we have adopted this critical tone as adults in self-defense. At this time, we should consider the kind of leader we want to be, one who leads with courage and takes risks, or one who is modeled after those early life naysayers, who used their power to keep others small. How we behave now sets an example for those around us, so choose wisely. Following this connection, the moon trines Uranus in Taurus. A change in perspective necessitates a shift in ideals, and although the Scorpio moon still has us consumed with upholding a legacy, impressing those who have come before us and leaving a mark for those who come after, Uranus reminds us that our task is to update these expectations, not to replicate them. We exist in the here and now, and we cannot greet the future by imitating the past. When we embrace the unexpected, we liberate ourselves, revising our conditioning through a marriage of common sense and progressive ideology.